Hi, I'm Ben Schultz and welcome. This video is a quick guide and a few tips that I was able to gather while I was creating my uh, music composition portfolio. In this video I'll explain um, a, a bit about how to make a good and clean portfolio um, for your college application. So let's dive into the steps that I want to show. And then at the end I'll show very important tips, so be sure to stay until the end because um, the most important things you have to learn are in, in the end and I can only tell them in the end because you have to know the method first. So let's dive into it. So um, the first thing you have to have in mind is what genre slash style um, do you want to pursue in your career or at least um, on college, you know? Because the portfolio that you put on and that you um, construct will actually dictate a little bit uh, about which colleges will or won't accept you. Because the thing is that um, the application to college is just um, subjective uh, um, to a very big degree actually. And although colleges usually try to measure um, if you're able or not, um, to enter this um, college degree um, due to your merit and your technique and everything that's in the portfolio. Um, the way that um, your portfolio um, talks to the uh, evaluator will actually make a difference. And I mean, you may have two incredible portfolios, but one of them is actually more appropriate for um, one college and the other one for the other college. And um, that's simply because the people who work there are different. And I say that because um, it's important that you have at least um, a, a little bit in mind um, which exact college is your first option. And why is that? Because you want to create a portfolio that is um, close to what um, the particular um, college or conservatoire you're applying to will want. Like, you want to create music that you enjoy, that you tr like truly enjoy, but you have to find a place um, that will want you for the music to truly enjoy. And this is the, the most important thing. So just like have um, what do you want to write and which college can offer you um, the best. And after you have those two things that um, like actually are connected, then making a portfolio will be much easier. And I, I talked about this a lot uh, on choosing the conservatory you want. Um, in another video of mine, so you can click on the cards um, right here if you want to see them. Right, so the next step, um, it's a little bit close to the first step, but it's also very important and it's about planning. When you're planning your portfolio, you want to showcase what's the best of you, you know, uh, because the thing is that um, they will sh um, actually evaluate many portfolios um, from composition students but it's important that you find like what makes your music yours. There will probably be many things, but you want to showcase um, a wide variety of stuff. It's very important that you um, be conscious about what you want to pursue, as I said, because then you can build a portfolio that will showcase all of that. And if um, the, the college actually enjoys your portfolio and think it's appropriate for um, their level of musical education, or the level of musical education that they want to offer you, then they will pick you up. Do your best to make like pieces that um, are particularly great. You want to show your best. And uh, not only that, you want to show um, uh, like the widest variety possible on what you want to do, right? So for example, if you have like um, three piano pieces, um, you perhaps want to write something for like a string quartet and if you already have a string quartet, perhaps you want to do a small piece for orchestra. Um, try to write stuff that you enjoy, like that you genuinely enjoy, but that will serve like a practical purpose. Like if you don't have something that you would enjoy writing and that we, you think will actually help on your uh, composition application, write it, you know, and, and have fun, don't like don't overdo it, don't, don't try to show something that's better than you currently are, you know, just show what you are and what you have to offer, because this is more important than trying to be like um, the new Mozart. And the third step is a little bit about what I said in the second one, um, you have to plan how do you um, actually achieve the perfect portfolio, the perfect portfolio, right? So. Um, it's important that now that you know what you don't have, you see how much time you have left. Perhaps you have a lot of time to do that, 
or perhaps you don't, you know. And the thing is that you have to create something with the time you have. And just see how much time you have a day and like put on those hours because it's very important that they see that you worked your portfolio through and that the pieces that you were showing them are pieces that you will show uh, anyone else. It's just important that you um, you put on the hours, um, but like all the hours that you have and just go to work and show them that you, you've done your homework. All right, so the fourth and last um, step in this guide, um, and don't forget that there are very important tips at the end, so don't leave the video yet, um, is actually showing what you have to someone that could actually get into the um, the conservatory or college you're in. So um, find like a, a, a really good professor or find people that already are in the college, like second or third year um, composition students and um, get in contact with them and just ask them to like take a look through your portfolio. Perhaps your teacher is already really good so you can have like a deep look into your portfolio and he will give you all sorts of tips on how to improve it. But it's just important that you find people who are really good at the subject and that can really guide you like the last steps into the college. And um, it's important that A, um, you actually allow them to criticize your work without being too defensive, but B, you actually have like a, a defense a defense, right? So of your portfolio um, that isn't uh, like simply um, whatever you say I'll do to my portfolio. It's still your portfolio, but it's important to be really conscious about it. Don't be like, don't think it's the best portfolio in the world, but also don't think it's the worst that everything has to be changed because um, it's your compositions and that's what you want to showcase the world. Try to find a, a middle ground between like compromising a bit, like your initial ideas to actually make it a little bit um, more palatable for other people because I mean that's um, in a big degree what will get you into college and B um, try to make it like um, yours you know something that no one else could actually write. Right so um, now the last tips and the most important things you can take from this video first of all um, I already said this but um, be diverse, but just as diverse as you want to be. You want to show what you like and what you want to pursue in the college. And that's um, usually what um, application assessment people actually look for, you know. Um, that's um, just important to show. Um, that's the second tip. What you want to write and not like show to, not write to impress, you know. Write to show what you've got and what you want but not to impress composition panels, like application panels, they do realize how genuine is the portfolio you sent and you will have lessons with the people who evaluated you. So the thing is that even if you get into the college, they will be expecting something else from you and things won't work. So send what you enjoy compose. Um, also, it's very important to be conscious about your portfolio and know its problems um, as well as you know, like the strong points in it. If you were talking to an application panel, for example, you're doing an interview, they will point out a few mistakes and a few things they think that could be improved on your piece. If they say, okay, like this isn't that good, it's not good that you say, no, I think it's good, thank you for your tip, like I don't care. Perhaps you don't think that this is a problem, so it's important that you know how to explain to them that um, you don't agree that this is a problem, but you can prove to them that like you actually thought it true, like, for, for example, someone in my composition application said that some of some of the stuff was um, over orchestrated um, and I said like I agree with this because that was something I was thinking about when I was composing and then um, I did this, you know, I showed another part of my music which um, weren't over orchestrated like because I thought it through while I was, I was composing and I said, okay, like, I know that this is a problem, but I also tried to solve it and I'm pretty sure that in my next pieces, this won't be a problem anymore. I was very conscious about the problems um, in my uh, personal composition application and it was of great help because this allowed me to connect with the interviewer um, in a way that I wouldn't be able if I was just saying all the good stuff about me and this was very very important for me. I spend so much time on my compositions that I already know all the problems they have um, so it's important that you spend like a lot of time with your sheet music and see what's weird what's not you know and just 
have all of that in mind. If someone asks, um, just talk about it. You know, you have to be able to talk about your music, and that's something that um, we often kind of leave behind. It's it's boring to talk about our music. We just want to compose. You know, and we hope that other people will get exactly what we had in mind. But that's simply not true. That's not how it goes on. You know, and be prepared to talk about your stuff. Once again, um, composition applications, um, portfolios are subjective and the people who, who will actually evaluate your um, portfolio will evaluate them not only by its technical accomplishments, but they will evaluate it by how much they like it. It's just true, you know, they will see um, like what do they enjoy about your music and what brings them any pleasure so the best you can do is your best and it's not about doing something that's like the uh, ideal best and it's about doing the best you can in the circumstances you want to be in follow your your own instincts um this is just very important just follow your own imagination your own creative like um urges i don't know and um just Follow your own path because after all, when you're out of college, that's all you're gonna have. All right, so the video is coming to an end, but I have more content on um, specifically UK colleges and applications and conservatoires. So if you're interested in learning a bit more about the subject, um, don't forget to go to uh, my other videos. Um, I put them in cards throughout the video and you can see them right here on this side. And thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like because this helps a lot and you will receive a lot more um, about this channel. Um, I hope I can help you a lot more throughout your journey. Um, I will have composition tutorials. Um, I, I will talk about conservatoires. And once I'm into the conservatoire, like when I'm actually studying, I will do a lot of videos about being a conservatoire student. So keep in touch and don't forget to subscribe and see the videos in the future. Um, thank you for watching. Cheers.